Welcome to the Diva Waxing Show. The topic is three things to remember when creating your own labels. Hey Mika Marie, welcome to the Diva Waxing Show. Hey uh, Nickel, play me tune. Welcome to the Diva Waxing Show. How are you? So yeah, the topic today is three things to remember when creating your own labels. And I'll go through my whole journey. And then um, also the three tips. Hey, she is Foxy. How are you doing? Hey, uh, P. Kizzle. Welcome to the Boxing Show. Welcome you both. How are you doing? How are things going? It doesn't show me. I don't know if it's my internet, but we just got new, really good internet. But it doesn't always show me who's coming into like. I know it's late because there. I can tell there's a delay. Um. But today we we're talking about creating your own labels. Um. This is the whole series that we're doing. Or I'm doing for the this week and then maybe next week I don't know yet um, if it's something that you guys want for next week I can go into further uh, this is valuable information though it is um, like when I was writing this stuff out like today is not really boring but as I was writing this stuff out for tomorrow I was like people may find this boring and it's not the like most exciting part of having your own product line but it's stuff that's really important and um it will be beneficial because once you get this stuff down one you say you save money you understand what is going on with your um labeling even if you have someone else doing it and then you get your product out there faster as well as you are making more sales because your product looks more professional so that is why um it's important to do this. so i'm going to start with the announcements which the only announcement i have is the 10 ways to start your own product line is on sale for $47 instead of $97. If you click the link in the bio, it's, I don't even remember what button it is. But uh, it goes into the steps you need to start your own product line. So if you are wondering where to start, it's a good video for you. Um, if you've kind of started but you don't know where to go next, it goes through from having the idea to having a product that you're selling. So it goes through all those those steps. Um, it's about an, about an hour, 40 minutes to an hour around that time. Uh, so, you know, it has a lot of information in there to help you get your product line. I don't know why this is still beeping. Uh, I wear Omnipod and let me just turn it off because it'll beep the whole time. All right. So, um, let's get started. Uh, for those of you who are coming in and out, and those who are catching the replay, welcome to the Three Boo Waxing Show. Welcome to the Three Boo Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the Three Boo Waxing Show. I am Becca, your pro waxer and skin therapist since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, and ingrowns through full body waxing, chemical peels, facials, and products. Uh, I have my own product line, which is my exfoliating pads, which have been sold all over the US, the UK, Canada, and the UAE. Um, 
there are I have two of them which are my fruit enzyme pads and then uh, the fruit enzyme pads and then the acne and girl pads uh, welcome to the doobie waxing show so official Chicago these are the acne and girl pads um, they're chemical exfoliants, so they're great for sensitive skin, good for dark spots, ingrowns. They can be used on the face and body. There are 40 that come in a pack or in a jar. And then you can get them at 3bwaxing.com, 3bwaxing.com, 3bwaxing.com. Um, I also help estheticians start their own product line, which that's the area that we are focusing on right now. Start their own product lines, start their own salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing technique. Um, and I do this through the 3B Waxing Show and my ebooks, courses, and classes. Hey, um, just, just Melvin504, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Um, if you want to know when I go live about anything related to estheticians, or you are interested in starting your own product line or you're interested in working on your labels you can join the salon t click the link in the bio in the instagram bio at 3b waxing 3b waxing i can't really see it and um you can join that list and then i email it right before i go live and then email information and um, any new products that I have, any new classes or courses that are open. Or uh, they may not be new, but they just may be open for the moment. If you are interested in skincare information, and one thing I do on the show is talk a lot about ingredients uh, with different skincare products, then you can click the link in the bio and join the lab. And there is where I send before I go live about skincare products, uh, ingredients, and then um, any specials or promotions going on uh, for products. So if I do free shipping, then I'll send it to that list. And the other list I have is the Wax Lounge because I am a waxer. That's who I am or it's what I do, not who I am. Uh, cause you're not defined by your job, but, um, that is the main reason why 3B Waxing started is because I'm a waxer, then the products came next and the teaching estheticians came next. So, um, if you're interested in wax information, like last week, the whole 3B Waxing show every day was about waxing your underarms and I emailed the wax lounge before I went live for that. So. I know that was a lot, but that way you can get on the right list. So if you go to Instagram at 3B Waxing, click the link in the bio and you'll see the buttons for the product video class. You'll see it for the lab. You'll see it for salon tea and you'll see it for the wax lounge. And it's separated that way. When I email, you're getting the correct emails. Hey, uh, Kay Lanny. Um, welcome to the 3B Waxing show. So yes, that is the intro. Okay, so labeling. One thing I help estheticians with is starting their own product line and labeling is very important. It's part of, you know, products. Pretty much all skincare products that you see on the market, I mean all of them really, have a label on them and yes you can just make a label of anything but there are certain guidelines to having labels and then um it also is a journey of like developing your labels and that kind of thing and so my goal with this live and this week's live is to help you with your process of making your labels or um, if you're not making them yourself, you are knowing how to talk with your lab about it, making sure that things are correct. Because even though 
we have people doing stuff for us, we should know what what's going on and what they're doing because they're working on our behalf, right? So um, my biggest goal for quarantine for my estheticians, even non-estheticians because I've helped non-estheticians start their own product line, my biggest goal has been to help them retail products and this is under the umbrella of having labels because we're still in this pandemic and in California we're actually shut down salons are shut down and um you know I think it is important to still be able to serve your clients with products and it also is a way to have income while you cannot service anyone so just setting yourself up right now if you haven't already is good because we don't know when things are going to go back to normal all right it's like nice to have your nail color match your lips i may wear it tomorrow too and Low key, this this light gets so hot. Um, it wasn't even hot in here, but now I'm like super hot. So I want to show my journey with um, my labeling, and I know this is gonna help someone because I was in the same situation of like. I don't know where to even start. I don't even know how how people do this stuff because a lot of people don't talk about the journey of it. And that's what I really want to focus on before I get into the three. So uh, for those who are new, I started my product line in 2017. It was a few months after I had opened up 3B Waxing. So I opened up 3B Waxing August 2nd. Uh, 2017 and then I believe that I sold or had my exfoliating pads by November I think that was it I'm not sure on the timeline exactly so don't quote me on that but that's around when I had it the first lab that I worked with they did my labels for me I just let them know uh, what I wanted them to be what I wanted them to be marketed as so I have those that label here um, I told them that I wanted to call my pads exfoliating pads um, I want to add my logo and then I remember I wanted to say what they would do so on my First labels, I put daily treatment to reduce the appearance of ingrown hairs, acne, hyperpigmentation, and scars. And then it has um, 60 medicated pads, because my old pads at 60. And then, um, then it has the information on the back. Uh, I think all that I really in gave them input on was... Um, the front how I wanted the front to go so this is the first pads I had and you know it's a great feeling to think of something in your mind and it have and it come to fruition like I had really wanted to have um, exfoliating pads with salicylic glycolic and lactic acid and something calming to help my clients that was like my big thing and I can still think of that feeling of when you know it happened and I I was like selling these pads and I remember when I first opened it and like oh my gosh these are exfoliating pads with my my brand name on it and like I'm selling them uh, it's just like a, a I, I don't know if surreal is the word but it's a great feeling welcome to the boxing show a Harris we're talking about um, labeling and I'm saying tell him how um, 
you know, when I first came out with the exfoliating pads, it was just like, oh my gosh, I did it. Like, I've accomplished something that I really didn't think I could accomplish. Like, I knew I could accomplish it, but it's like, oh my gosh, this happened, basically. So, I don't know what else I was talking about before I got distracted about talking about being so excited about having the pads. But, yeah, there's a huge excitement in creating something or wanting to create something and then having it be created and selling. And I do have, so I help estheticians make, do their product lines and stuff. And one of my clients last weekend emailed me saying that the products that she's been working on and I've been helping her with this during this quarantine are being created this week. So even when it's someone else's, it's just such a good feeling because you see it from the beginning stages of just being talked about to oh, I'm getting an order. So that's like really exciting uh, for me and uh, for my clients. So um, yeah, I came out with these and they did the label. So I really just decided what I wanted it to say, um, what I wanted it to say as far as treating things and I base that off of the ingredients because I know my ingredients and I tell you guys all the time when you're first starting your products, know your ingredients, know what you want to put in there. And that's in the video class as well. That's one of the steps. Oh, I'm getting such a delay. Okay. So. Yeah. These are them. And this is when I started helping other estheticians create their exfoliating pads. So this is kind of like, you know, the start of everything. Like how I was saying, I'm a waxer and then I had products and then um, I helped other estheticians that was you can kind of see like I was a waxer first then I had my own pads and then you know I was helping other estheticians have their own pads so that's how 3B waxing has started to serve three groups of people um there's something I was gonna say about waxing oh now I did have products to retail. So before I opened 3B Waxing, I was retailing PCA Skin and then some other brands too, like a few little things here and there. So I've always been retailing something and I do think that uh, as an esthetician, even if you're not having your own products, you should be retailing products because when you work on somebody and they're getting services it's important to keep it up at home so whether it be waxing they need to exfoliate at home and moisturize whether it be facials they need to use active ingredient cleansers and serums and moisturizers at home spfs uh, so i do think it is important to retail in general and to just talk about the pandemic like I was talking about earlier, even if you are like, you know, I'm going to take my time with having my own product line or my own product line isn't for me. I still recommend retailing during this time. And some of the things I help estheticians with, with their product line can help you with marketing and um, retailing other lines so one thing i've done is help other estheticians start retailing skin script and teaching about the seller's permit and those kind of things welcome to the three waxing show she is uh q w e 
welcome. So yeah, so these are the first pads. Pretty. And um, I've had these pads up until, or I had these pads up until 2019. And then I went into my fruit enzyme pads, my acne and ingrown pads, and then my brightening pads. Um, I just have the acne and ingrown pads. But these are the pads that I wind up learning how to make my own labels with. So if you see, I have my labeling here. And just like how I was saying that having the these pads when they first were created and I was selling them, how I had that moment of like, oh my gosh, I'm selling my own products, something I really wanted, I'm actually serving to a client. I felt the same way with creating these labels because I, I spent a few months, I don't even know how many months it is because it has to been more than three or four, but when I really started cracking down, it was like three or four months. I can get a lot done in three or four months. But um, when I first started like, oh, I'm gonna make my own labels. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a headache. I tried to find people online who had made their made skincare labels. But one thing I found was people really didn't know the FDA laws. So they were, they could help me and they could make them but I would probably have to go back later and correct it as I got bigger. And I was like, well, why don't I just take the time to do it right the first time and then start from there. And even if I'm incorrect now, I can change it and I'll know how to do it for our future. And I can teach it to other estheticians. So uh, this, yeah, I stopped selling these ones end of 2018. 2019 I made or I started selling these acne and ingrown pads and in between so at the end of 2019 I had these labels I know it's kind of jumping everywhere so end of 2019 I had these labels in the meantime I my wonderful mom and she makes a lot of my shirts that have three blue waxing on it my aprons some of the cards, if you ever purchase uh, any of the pads for me, some of the cards in there she's made. Um, if you come to the salon when I'm open, uh, I used to send thank you cards out to my clients and she would, you know, uh, make those. And then um, also she would make for my clients like little calendars and different things she makes. So she made these awesome labels. Hey Bridget, welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. Good to see you. I was just talking about the feeling of like getting something done, getting a product done and having it completed. I know you know how that feels. Um, okay. So... some of the old ones I just want to show you guys talking about labeling hey uh sin cynical welcome to the 3 waxing show so she also made me some of these as well like things with 3 be wax on on it um and I've used these to close the tab of packages but this is not what I was planning on showing you okay so she made me a few of these in the meantime while I was oh, these are kind of messed up so I'll probably throw them out they got crinkled 
until you get your labels made by somebody. Um, I get them made now. So currently, I have made my labels. I did the whole process of going to the FDA, you know, researching to had a designer make them, and then I get them printed out. But I'm just explaining right now the whole story of where where I started and where I um where I am now. So I'm in the middle of that story. I know you came in late, but so like I was showing my old pads, how the lab that I got the pads from used to create this label for me. And then um, in 2019, I switched labs and started having these acne and ingrown pads, but I didn't have this label. So in the meantime, I was using these labels that my mom created for me. And they look this looks kind of raggedy right now because I don't use it anymore, so they kind of get crumbled up in here. But um, she made me ones I could use. And it was so helpful because um, I was in the process of figuring out my labeling situation. The lab that I was ordering from, uh, the past from, they did have their own labels, but it couldn't be 3B waxing on it. And also it, um, you couldn't personalize the labels, so I couldn't say exactly what I wanted. And I think that's really important. Hey, Mrs. No Filter, welcome back to the Three Waxing Show. How are you? So these are ones. And the reason why um, I wanted to explain my journey of this is because I have really grown. And the last post I just posted was one of my clients. She ordered one that had this label and then one who had this and she's like look I see your progress you know um hey Shane welcome to the 3B waxing show I think is it right or Shan oh, it's a three show. is I want to show the progress um these are not the labels that I really wanted to end up end up with you know as the finished product but they got the job done and I'm so thankful my mom is creative and she was like, hey, I made you these so you can um, have labels. So what I would do is I would put this on the front. And this was before, like if you see, I have like the seal on it. This is before I had the seal. So not only has my labeling changed, but the product has changed. Not the ingredients, but like the presentation of it. Um, and then I would put the instructions and the ingredients on a little card that she made. And then I would write my note to the client like, hey, thank you so much. You can find the ingredients here. If I didn't have like a card to give them, uh, sometimes I just didn't have it. I would just be like, hey, I'm going to email you the information uh, so you have it. And then... Um, the product has the front label on it. So that is what I was doing. Um, hey, uh, self-loving 88. Welcome to the boxing show. I'm just starting out with my home bakery. Good to hear. Congrats. Um, I'm using the same labels to get me started. Exactly. And um, it it's what you do to get started. One thing that I've learned through having a business is that you definitely want to start where you are and then grow from there. And sometimes I forget that, like I just all of a sudden want to be, because in my mind, we all have like our vision of how we want our business to look. I'm sure you have how you want your bakery to be as you grow. And I've learned to not jump steps like, okay, this is where I'm at right now. Um, cause I used to feel kind of guilty, like, oh my gosh, you know, these aren't the exact labels that I can give my client or the exact labels I want to give my client, but they did the job and 
my clients love the product and it's growth right said i use avery label as well i've been looking into getting them printed uh elsewhere though uh what i use now for these is uh online labels hey uh sexy liz one now that's just the acne and ingrown pads so she made me ones for the fruit enzyme as well And so that's what I did for a while. From like January to what, November or December, I did that. Welcome to the Waxing Show, um, Planet Glee. Welcome. So I still use Avery though for my fruit enzyme pads. These are what they look like. And I only have, for the fruit enzyme pads, I only put the label at the top. I am eventually going to have a label like this. Um, but again, it's a process. There's some things I want to do before. And now that I've done this before, I feel more comfortable. Like, okay, these aren't, you know, the finished product labels, but, you know, I'm getting there. Uh, and these work fine. I have no complaints. Uh, my clients still love the product. So yeah, so that's the journey of my labels for the pads. Hey, uh, Demi Muse. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. So... I want to show you that to get an idea like this is all a journey it's a whole process you know what you start out with you may not you probably not gonna end up with and it's okay if you're like you know this is not the finished product if you have a good product it's okay and um, clients do like to be on the journey with you like I have people who have been with me you know when I first opened up 3B waxing in a small salon like the space for the salon literally was so small hey uh sunshine x o x welcome to the 3B waxing show the space was literally and you guys can't really see but it's basically where I'm like sitting here now and it just, I mean, it was my first place. I was happy. But it, um, it wasn't the finished product. And then I moved to uh, Santa Ana Salon. It was so much better. But I hadn't decorated. And one of my clients helped me decorate it. And you would hear like, oh, I remember when you were in Brea. I remember, you know, people like to go on the journey with you. And that's something that I've had to um, accept and like be like, okay, it's okay that I'm on this journey. It's okay I don't have everything figured out. I'm never going to have everything figured out. But, you know, I can serve other people while I, I'm still learning. So that's why I showed those. Now, I did want to say that... Um, said very inspiring to hear i'm glad i am glad that is why that's exactly why i want to show it so i'm glad um that's helpful so i did want to talk about some other products i had and my my labeling with them i did have lotion bars um i had them for a short period of time i enjoy retail and stuff like that and I jo enjoyed the lotion bars I, but I didn't love them and I could continue to retail them and there's some clients who love them but I personally like to retail stuff I'm just in love with now I can be in love with something and not use it because like I can't use a um 
heavy acne, acne cleanser because I don't have a, a huge acne or you know what I mean but um I just personally wasn't in love with selling them or retailing them so I stopped but and this is one thing I teach estheticians when I do pick my brain calls and stuff is that you know you can talk to somebody who sells something about doing private label with them and that's what I do with my lotion bars is I had um, the lady that I ordered the bars from do my labeling and what we did was we just used her labeling but put my information on it so it it looked the same as hers but um, my information so that's something you can do as well if I would have kept going, I would have eventually made my own labels and worked out something with her, like sent her the labels and had her do it. Um, and one thing I want to talk about as far as sending labels, it's just some options for you. If you're like, you know, I want some options. Is uh, I have a esthetician who's interested in wholesaling my past because I do uh, sell them wholesale for estheticians to resell and she would like to have me put her labels on so we are you know it's a process so it takes some time for me to do that and then when I send them to her they're done I mean I do wholesale with my labels or just to the person and they put their own labels but this one's new of me actually putting the labels on so that's something we're working out um, but that's something you can also do as far as just giving somebody your labels and you know they put it on the product so there's so much you know things you can do hey uh, Kesey way welcome to the Dubu waxing show hey uh, Monet welcome to the Dubu waxing show One other product I wanted to talk about that I've done is the eyebrow serum. So I have an eyebrow serum that I recommend to um, my clients. I either give them the ingredients to it or I make it for them and they just purchase it from me. And that one, I'd never finished the labeling on it, but... Um, they were like little droppers, dropper jars or whatever. And there I was planning on using, um, these oval stickers. I looked at, uh, Vista print, but I think I was, um, planning on working with Avery. Is that to help them become fuller? Yes. And I will tell you it has helped a lot of my clients you know improve their um improve their brows some of my clients use it on their eyelashes so i do sell it for um twenty dollars i haven't and i i make it when i i um that's the other thing i would make it on the spot like if you ordered it i made it um and i didn't really promote that on my instagram or my website because i'm not just trying to sit here and make a whole bunch of uh brow serums but i just did it for my clients who came and see me and those kind of things or people on my email list all right so let's get into the three um The three things I have the I have the three things to remember when creating your own product line. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually reset before I get started. So um she said, okay, I'm gonna order some. Yeah, just um uh, message me and DM me and I can send you just a PayPal link. Or actually, I've improved my process. If you click the link in my bio, I have a pay PayPal button and just um, send me uh, 20, I don't think, 
I can give you free shipping on it. Because I was doing 25 for shipping, but I can give you free shipping. And um, I can get it made and shipped out probably Monday. So I'm going to reintroduce myself and then we're going to go into the three things to remember when creating your own labels. Uh, so welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. I am Becca, your pro waxer and skin therapist since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, and ingrowns through full body waxing, chemical pills, facials, and products. I um, have your own product line, obviously. That's what we're talking about. Um, that's been sold all over the U.S., the U.K., Canada, and the U.A.E. Um, that's the acne ingrown pads and the fruit enzyme pads. So I did discontinue the brightening pads like we talked about earlier, how I had the brightening pads. Um, I also help estheticians and non-estheticians start their own product line, start their own salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing technique um, through my classes, courses, the show. I broadcast on the show Wednesday through Friday from at 3, 3.26 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I have three topics that I usually talk about. So um, if you're an esthetician or non-esthetician and you like business advice, salon advice, stuff like this, starting your, your um, product line or need help with labels and those kind of things, you can click the link in the bio and join Salon T. And I email Salon T when I go live talking about, you know, esthetician stuff, business stuff. And then I also send like any courses and classes that I have open at the time. Uh, if you're interested in waxing information, I have the Wax Lounge. Uh, I send about waxing like last week. We talked about underarm waxing. So, yeah, everything waxing. And then um, I have the lab. And the lab is where you join and I send information about ingredients. So skincare ingredients. So that way you know ingredients. So that way whether you buy purchase products from me or uh, at the store or anywhere else, you know your ingredients. So you are choosing the best ingredients for your skin. Uh, yeah, so that's the list that you can you can have um yeah and then the announcement for today's show was the product line video if you click the link in the bio you can get the 10 steps okay so let's go into the first one of things to know and what i wanted to just share was how important uh presentation is of products um when I first had these made, like I knew what they were gonna look like. I got a um and this is something I think that you should get if you are starting your own product and you're having somebody do your labels or you're having them create um graphics for it. I definitely think you should get a mock-up of your product. So if you go to 3bwaxing.com under products, you can see a mock-up of the product that I got before I actually had the product. Did I have it before I actually had the product? No. Wait, so I did have it before I got the product for these pads, but because I was already selling these pads without a label, the mock-up came afterwards. Um get a mock-up people like to see what it's going to look like so what i will say though is i i did make sales before i had the mock-up but it definitely helped so i created a video in 2017 and it was i actually clearly remember this video it's deleted now but it was on my instagram and it was me in my car and I was just saying, hey, um, I'm coming out with my exfoliating pads. They're going to have salicylic, like colic lactic acid, and aloe as a calming agent. This is what they're good for. And I went, it was like, it was probably less than one minute. 
And I know the person who purchased first because um, I was doing a pre-sale. So I would sell the pads for $48. Um, but I pre-sold them for, I think it might have been $30. I can't remember what I pre-sold it at. I could find it in my email. So I used to sell these one for $48 and I pre-sold it and I sold some before I even had my mock-up. But I do think having some kind of visual is just better. People like to see it. You'll get more. You'll get more sales from that. Let me see. So what else did I want to say about um, these pads? I would just say one thing I really liked about these, these pads is that the presentation of it looked quality. Um, so the first one I have is Presentation Matters, and it really does. It's people like the way things look. Hey, Rama, Welcome to the 3 Waxing Show. Um, and this goes for, like, your Instagram, it looking good, your website looking good, you looking good. Like, if you really know me, know me. I don't really like, I don't really wear makeup pretty often I don't get dressed up I'm you know pretty relaxed but it plays a part in you know making money people uh like to spend money with people who look good or people who have nice looking products so presentation matters and the reason why I brought this one up is just like I've seen other estheticians and hairstylists have their products where it's kind of just plain like this, like, oh, here's the product. You kind of want to think, like, how is this person going to feel when their product is on their counter? So they're more likely to use it if it looks good. Um, you want them to feel something, you know, so whether it be like they're taking care of their skin, you know, it's nice, but it really does matter. This is so hard when you just want to leave the house, but every moment is an opportunity. Yes, it is. I literally, um, so I used to hang around this girl and she was a business owner as well. She uh, was a hairstylist. And we would be like, you know, we don't really talk to people about our business when we are, you know, stepping out of the house, looking all kinds of, all kinds of ways. But, um, it's important. And I've been trying to fight it for like, ever, even though I, I know it's important. Um, but yeah, it is hard, but it's one of those things that it does make a difference. Um, but I will say this, because I have a talked to a few business owners about this we've had like discussions about it I do think you can outskill some of this stuff like <laughs> um example I worked for a um high-end gym in Newport Beach I put on my website I worked for them I mean it's a place where celebrities work out. I was the esthetician there. I didn't wear makeup very often. I wore my brows and I wore some a lip. I wore my my brows are always filled in because I'm a waxer because I don't really have brows. But I had a lip a lot of the time. Sometimes I didn't have a lip, but I did really well. Um, even when I was waxing at other places, I could still pull in the highest retail and I didn't wear makeup and other girls did. So I do think, I know that it's true that the better you look, the better your results are, but that, I don't wanna say that's the determining factor because I've had a lot of success not being, not wearing makeup and not being, you know, totally put together. One thing I do notice though when I am put together is that I act different and then people really 
I guess, yeah, they spin more. They want to be around me more. I was alarmed to do my sales tax. But yeah, so... Yeah, it's hard, but it's so worth it. And actually during this pandemic, not to go off on a too much of a tangent, um, I've been really focusing on taking care of myself and getting better at makeup. That's why you see me full face lately. Is because when we do open up, because in California we're not opened, I want to be able to quickly do my makeup good. So, yeah, it's... It does matter. Uh, I've done events, like we did BET Weekend, um, it, the All-Star Weekend, and I got a makeup artist for those events just because I know presentation does matter. Um, it's wild to me. Uh, I can fix people's skin, and I have pretty clear skin. Like, I obviously go through my journey and my trials, you know, whether it be the time of the month or something before I get lazy. But I have pretty good skin, but people will more likely spin with me if I'm done up than like random people will spin with me or be more interested if I'm done up rather than seeing my actual clear skin. So it's weird. I I know presentation matters. I go back and forth to be honest, like but yeah. So just to go back to what I was saying is I do think having a label is important, whether it be a label that you're going through the process or a label something, because I have had products from people that were kind of playing looking and I've sold product like I've done it myself just because I didn't have a label. But you're just going to be better off having something pretty or making it at least in pretty packaging. So I feel you on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number two is um, sell while you're working on labels, on the labels you want. So that's why I kind of did the, um, not why I kind of did it. So number one, presentation matters. Two, sell while working on the labels you want and what i mean by that is um don't let it stop you because i was gonna let my labels not being complete or how i really wanted them to be stop me from making sales when people were like hey i want some pads where you at because i stopped selling these pads in at the end of 2008 I was in a, there was like a delay because I was still um, researching a new lab to work with. And I wanted to mention something on that. Hey, um, uh, Shash Massage, welcome to the Blue Action Show. One thing I want to mention on that, and the reason why I now teach. Well, there's a few reasons why, but one big reason I teach you how to find your own labs. Like if you grab the 10 steps to start your own product line, it's going to give you the steps to do it and not the the lab. I used to give the lab out, my original lab, and I rather teach people how to fish, I guess. The, I know that there's an actual saying, but... I'm not going to attempt to say it right because I don't know it right. But um, I'd rather teach people how to fish than just give it to them because then you, you're almost like relying on me for the next thing. So I noticed like when I had the, um, she said yes, mm -hmm. like when I had the other pads and I switched, People were like, hey, um, because I switched for some reasons, like it wasn't just, it was some reasons. That's what I'll just say today. If you do a pick my ring call, you know, I always tell you the whole, whole situation. But basically, um, when I switched, people were like, hey, um, 
I'm thinking about switching to da, da, da. Right, and, and I had decided that I wasn't going to share my lab the second time is because I was going I wanted to wholesale and so um you know, I'm talking you know you don't realize talking really be on your throat <laughs> um what was I saying oh so what was I saying okay so I didn't want to share the the new lab because I was gonna make wholesale it but I realized that you know people were like just relying on me and I really didn't want that and the book that I used to have so the book that I had was start your own product line um it had the lab but it also had the steps but it had that lab and then it had another lab which you could uh retail makeup from it so some of the people who purchase it they now retail their makeup and i'm very happy about that i see the the people that used it being very successful with it i'm just happy we all grew from it we all learned you know it was a great opportunity for everybody um but I felt like people were skipping the steps. A lot of people were skipping the steps of, you know, oh, I need to do this. I need to do that. Do that or and just looking for labs. Like there's a lot of vendor lists out there that you can purchase, which I think is great. It, you know, but also like say the vendors do something that you are not cool with. And especially with this climate of like, the protests going on right now like the basketball thing say somebody does something well for in my case say if something did some something racist which a lot of our audience are black and like you don't want to support well what are you going to do if you don't know how to you don't know how to research your own lab and hey uh kelly with a three zzz welcome to the boxing show so you know, I wanted to give estheticians that power to be able to to um, research themselves. Yes, it does. You know, I make less money because you can't come back to me all the time, but I can help you with other things. So I'm not worried about that. Um, and I, re I, re I rather just empower people. So that's what I wanted to say about that. Um, I know that was a side note, but I really want to, really want to say that. Um, so number two was sell while working on the labels you want. Some things you can do that I did are I would email the I would email the ingredients out to the client. Um, I also would have like I showed you guys the sticker of the ingredients with the the label on the product. Um, if I didn't have any of the labels, I would just email everything to the client. So there are ways around it. People are understanding. People want your product, especially if it's good. So, you know, so I'm going to end there. We'll recap tomorrow, the three. Um, so we went over the two and then we'll recap and then I'll give the third and then um, we'll start going into more because all week I'm talking about labeling. Help you guys really, you know, get going with labeling. We're going to talk a lot about the FDA um, and that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, any announcements, any ending things I'm trying to think of the product line video you can click the link in the bio. Everything really is the link in the bio. Salon T. I email before I go live about, you know, esthetician information, business information. And um, and I do pick my brain calls on Tuesday. Tuesdays are when I do them. And um, I can help you with whatever you want directly. So have a blessed day. And uh, thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for those catching the replay. Uh, if I put this up, I'm not sure if I'll put it up. And um, have a blessed, blessed day and take care of your mental health.